I have like nothing wrong with me. It, it, I feel like there's something wrong with me because everybody I know like takes something for something. Yeah. Like Xanax or right. I take, back pain medication. Like yeah. everybody's on something, and I'm the only one who doesn't have drugs to take at work all day. And it's gotta be boring. Or using Hillary. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just. It's just weird. I'm just like, there's. Do I have cancer or something? And I just don't know it yet. <laughs> Everybody else has something wrong. Something wrong got to be wrong with me. All right, let's do this. But we do over-medicate in this country. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Service announcement from the High Command podcast. Smoke more weed. And then use an inhaler. <laughs> don't don't smoke weed. That is very bad for your lungs. It is. There are other options. There are. There are drops. Mm -hmm. There are candies. There are foods. Listen, are we going to get into this? We can get into this right now. Or what what about it? What are we getting into? Well, here's the thing. Is edibles are awesome. I agree. Right? Mm -hmm. 100%. They're way better for your body, or for your, especially for your lungs, especially, mm -hmm. than smoking. However, here's the issue. I, if I take one puff of something, I am immediately high, and I'm high for 10 minutes to an hour to two hours. Okay. Right? The more I smoke, obviously, the longer I stay high. Yeah. Edibles, however, take anywhere from half an oh, hour yeah. you to don't two get that. hours. Yeah. And it lasts anywhere from two hours, like at an absolute minimum, to six to 12. Right, I've had, yeah. I've had, I've been high for almost an entire day once off of some. So they take, and it's an intense high, and it like you yeah. know, but it really it comes up gradual and it comes down gradual, right? But I mean, that's a that's an investment. Yeah, in but you know, but yeah, and it's a lot harder to control. Yeah, but you know, edibles aren't for the working man like you and me. The edibles are for the people who that's all they do all day. Or what? Why, why are we laughing? Because I use lots of edibles. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Well then, well, then what's the problem? What's the if the you problem just... is, is that I don't always want to be yeah. that high for so long. right? So, I don't so... want to get so intense and I don't want to how, be how, high for eight hours. How fast hours. are the drops, I wonder? Like the, it's like still, the it'd be, so anything that you inhale mm -hmm. is uh, introduced into your brain chemistry differently than when you eat it. Gotcha. Right? So you, it's actually a different um, process when you eat it versus when you smoke it. Mm. Completely. Um, you still get the THC to your brain, but how it's introduced and then the amounts that re re come to your brain are completely are different. There's really, like, it's it is, it's not the same comparison. You can't, yeah. I mean, it's a different eye. Comple it is, if, to me, it's a completely different high. And I honestly like the smoking one better because it's shorter, it's more intense um, for that moment. And it's also, it feels different yeah. mentally. So that's that's the problem. So I cannot wait until they're they're close. They're creating inhalers. Yeah. So you don't have to smoke. You just inhale just like that. Nice. And you you get high for however long. And this is here's the million dollar idea, right? So pod, podcasters, those of you that are listening to this, don't steal my idea, okay? This is our this is our unspoken mm -hmm. oak. You can't steal it. Um, you gotta have theaters. You'll have movie theaters where like Galaxy or whatever they have Cine, Cine, Cineplex or yeah. down in California. Where you order food, right? But at the same time, you also order, an oil and order one shot from an inhaler, right? You've got to be, it's got to be controlled to a certain amount because yeah. otherwise you're going to get people that are just going to sit there and pass out and be in a movie for, but that's I don't, I don't know if that would, I don't know how that would work for like, cause most what? of the laws, like, I don't think that a theater would be able to get a license to sell weed. Not right now. But maybe in the future. No, in the future. When they have the inhalers and when it's a little more culturally acceptable. Yeah. And I mean, cause you can order wine in a movie theater right now. Yeah. Right. You can get your, you can get balls ass drunk while watching Black Panther right now at multitude of theaters. Yeah. No, that's a good point. So it only take time before it's allowed for us to, and honestly, I would rather hang out with a bunch of stoners watching a movie giggling <laughs> than some drunk dude who's being a loud fucking moron right yeah. like i would rather go to that theater anyway that's that's my two cents okay i'm gonna start the show now <laughs>